Welcome back to another episode of Level Up Cooking with Trey. And on this channel, you know we focus on turning simple dishes into great dishes. Let's level up. All right, guys, so for our street style corn, we're gonna be using smoked paprika, restaurant style pepper, Parmesan Romano, smoked sea salt, garlic, butter, and we're gonna be using frozen corn. Feel free to use fresh corn as well. Also, we're gonna be using water and milk. You can substitute the milk for buttermilk as well. All right, let's get into it. So the first thing we're gonna do, guys, is add six cups of water, um, and we're gonna bring this corn up to a boil. So as you guys notice, I have about nine pieces of frozen corn. This is what we'd be working with. All right, so once I get all of my six cups of water in here, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with one full cup of milk. I mean, actually two cups of milk, I apologize. So it's gonna be two cups of milk, nine pieces of cobs. And then I'm using my smoked sea salt, followed by my restaurant style pepper, followed by my garlic powder. And of course, one of my favorite seasonings, guys, smoked paprika not regular but smoked this enhances the flavor and aroma to another level so we're going to give this a good mix into it's like a uh, i don't know what color this is but it's a great color so it's going to boil guys we're going to bring it up to boil and this is what it'll look like when it first start boiling we're going to go for 45 minutes but the corn is done after about 20 minutes or so so feel free to stop at 20 minutes all right, guys, so about 30 minutes in, I'm gonna go in with a half a stick of butter. You can use one stick of butter if you choose. I went ahead and used a half a stick because I'm gonna use the other half later. But at this point, guys, like I say, the corn is done. But for me, I'm doing it for 45 minutes. All right, guys, so the next step for the last 15 minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with about two to three tablespoons of honey. As you know, I'm gonna add this in here and let this just go ahead and boil down. And like I say, after about 15 minutes or so, this will be done. So like I say, for me it's 45 minutes, but feel free to cut it in half. And this is what it looks like, guys. This is that boiled corn. As you can see, I don't play when it comes to the corn. It looks abso absolutely amazing. It's very, very good, guys. All right, so for the other four cobs, we're actually gonna broil these. We did initially boil them, but we're also gonna give them a little char. So what you'll notice is that I have a foil followed by some butter, salted, and I'm gonna follow this up with a little bit of Parmesan and Romano cheese. So this is how I'm placing it to get ready to go in the oven. All right, so the next step, the restaurant style pepper. So we're basically repeating the process if we were about to boil it. All of the same seasonings. So you notice I used the smoked sea salt, and I'm going back in here again with some of that garlic powder, guys. And of course, the smoked paprika. So as you know, I can add it that. So th this is just me layering it. Now look at that steaming hot corn, guys. Man, this looks very good. I'm telling you right now, this was a 10 out of 10 out of 10 out of 10. So at this point, I'm just layering the cobs down nicely. All right, guys, so what we're gonna do, I told you earlier we won't be using that full stick. So the other half of the stick is in this process. As you notice, I put butter under the corn and I also put in the butter on top of the corn as well. And what I'll do, you'll notice, I'll just make sure I try to get butter over the cobs. Guys, it was really hot, so I couldn't touch the corn like I wanted to, but I tried to get it on there and just uh, coat it on there nicely. I sh probably should have used a brush, but hey, it is what it is. All right, guys, so at this point, we're gonna top it off with a little bit of that Parmesan Romano, guys. And I'm telling you, this is the best way to make corn, if you ask me. And then we're gonna hit it with a little bit of that smoked paprika, and that's it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fold it on both sides, guys, because I don't want the butter to leak out I'm gonna fold it up on both sides, kinda in a similar shape of a boat, of a sailboat. So I fold it up on both sides and keep it a little open up at top so it can vent. And we're gonna broil this. So that's the broiler set for about 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes in the oven on the broiler, this is what it looks like. Stunning, beautiful broiled corn. And I will tell you guys, there was a difference between this one and the one that I boiled just on the stove. On the stove, I actually prefer this one better because I like the little char 
get the corn pieces had, but either way it's fine. It was absolutely phenomenal. Stunning corn on the cob. All right guys, so I'm just gonna fold this corn back up um, until I finish with the rest of my dinner. Um, and it actually stay hot just like this for about 30 to 40 minutes for some odd reason. It stays hot for a long time. But this is pretty much it guys. This is the stove corn that I boiled. Absolutely phenomenal, 10 out of 10. Absolutely amazing. But hey guys, if you like this type of content, please remember to like, share, subscribe, and remember as always, we turn common food into world class. As a team, let's level up. Please look forward to my next video.